Border Force workers have unloaded on their bosses in a secret report obtained by the ABC. In a staff survey run just weeks before their commissioner, Roman Quadvelig, was sidelined last year, members of the force registered a crisis of confidence and morale in the organisation. Political reporter Dan Conifer has the story. Out with the old Border Force boss and in with the next. But for Acting Commissioner Michael Outram, it's business as usual. Our organisation has continued to produce amazing results operationally. The organisation that lost its first commissioner last week for helping his girlfriend get a junior job in the force is more attuned than ever to improving standards. Ensuring that our standards around integrity and accountability and compliance and governance are of the highest order. Uh, and we put significant effort into that. Significant effort, too, in restoring the front line's faith in those at the top. According to a major staff survey obtained by the ABC under freedom of information laws, morale and confidence were scraping rock bottom. It's been a very tough road and, frankly, the place is a mess. Only about 20% thought senior leaders communicated effectively. A few more said executives were setting a clear direction and overall, just a quarter believed their high-level bosses were of a high quality. What we really need to do here is build the morale of that organisation. That is being done to a certain extent. The survey also showed less than half were happy with the recognition they received. And even fewer staff felt they were paid fairly. What do we want? Pay, pay. Their last pay rise was in 2013, and the almost half-decade-long stalemate over pay and conditions continues. What government has done to immigration and border force staff is frankly grotesque. I very much hope that that is resolved as soon as possible so that we can all move on. The 5,000 strong force is banking on it. Dan Conifer, ABC News, Canberra.